we have started huh? hari om and welcome to all the gnana jyotis and with the blessings of our sadguru shri prabhu ji let us start today's session with a prayer om guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha अखंडमंडलाकारम व्याप्तम येन चराचरम तत्पदम दर्शितम येना तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः अंतर्ज्योति ही बाहिर्ज्योति ही प्रत्यक्ष्योति ही परात्परा ज्योतिरेव ज्योति ही स्वयं ज्योति ही आत्मज्योति ही शिवोस्म्यहम Hari Om. Once again, welcome to all. Today we are starting our uh, session ten topic Mahavakya Viveka. So we have only three participants today, and uh, first to go will be uh, Kanti Ji on the topic Ham uh, Brahmasmi Kanti Ji. Purnima, can you check the timing? Six minutes or seven minutes? Seven. Seven. Okay. So timing, I think we don't have that facility to keep it on the screen. So Purnima Nortira, Kanti, you can also keep the timer if you have, or you keep looking at uh, Purnima Ji. She will show the time. When it is six, she will show again seven. She will show because only three right. people, no. We have to keep time. Mm. Join. Hari Om Monday. We just started. Kanti Ji will be starting with the Hi. topic. Hi. 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 So I'll be starting uh, Puni Majina. Yeah. Hari Om to all Atma Jyotis present here. Today's topic is Aham Brahmasmi. But before going into that Mahavakya, let us think about a situation in our everyday life. That is, say for example, a person is. What does he do? He takes some medicines from the doctor and gets cured. In the similar lines, let me share my screen. Is it visible? Yes. So the antibiotic is given, then with help of doctor, the health comes back to normalcy. But what is this related to Mahavakya? Mahavakyas are very profound statements, short statements. And what does that do? The jiva is brought back to its true nature. But how does that happen? With the health coming to normalcy, it is the doctor. But jiva going back to its true nature, that is the brahman, how can this happen? It is with the help of the sadguru. And we have Shri Prabhuji. So what are Mahavakyas? These are very short and it highlights the wisdom of spiritual concepts. The essential teaching of Mahavakyas are from Upanishads and it says reality is one and the individual is essentially identical with it. Here we see that Shankaracharya founded four matas, the Shankar matas, in four different directions. So how is this related to the Mahavakyas? Yes. Shankar Bhagavad Padacharya founded four matas in four different directions. And in Puri, it is the uh, mata that has with Rigveda and the Mahavakya that is given to that mata is Pragnanam Brahma. And then comes the Ayurveda, Aham Brahmasmi in Sringeri. Then 
Samaveda, Tattvamasi in Dwarka, and the fourth Maka that is in Badri, is Ayamaveda and Ayamatma Brahma. Mahavakyas are given to each of the Mathas. Then what is Aham Brahmasmi, that is the topic given to me? It is one among the four Mahavakyas from the Upanishads. The essence of all the Mahavakyas is the same since all are intended to guide the practitioners towards the realization of Brahman. This Mahavakya Aham Brahmasmi is from Brihadaranyaka Upanishad 1.4.10 of the Shukla Jirveda. Brihada Aranyaka is great wilderness or forest which was given by Yagnavalkya. Aham Brahmasmi means I am Brahman and this is Anubhava Vakya and which leads to realization. It refers to the communion of Atman, the individual self with Brahman, the universal, uh, universal consciousness. And what is this spiritual journey with these four Mahavakyas? And there are many other Mahavakyas also. We have a table here which gives the four Mahavakyas. And the first Mahavakya is Tattva Masi, that is the Upadesha Vakya, the teaching that is given to, from Uddalaka to Shvetaketu, the sun. And this is from Samaveda, from Chandogya Upanishad. And this place where in Samaveda, that is Tattvamasi, is in Dwarka. Pragnanam Brahma is Lakshana Vakya. That is, what is Pragnanam Brahma? That is the universal and Ayamatma Brahma. That is Sadhaka Vakya. That means the practice that is done. So first is, it is told who I am. That is, I am the Brahman. Then Pragnanam Brahma is everything. The world is Brahman. And Aham Brahmasmi is the last one. And uh, I am Atma Brahma is the practice that is taken to understand that Atma in me is Brahman. I am Brahman. So then Aham Brahmasmi, I am Brahma. That is the realization. That is the experience that we get with Aham Brahmasmi. These are uh, uh, very nicely ordered and the way, the type of Vakya it is, is first is the teaching, then comes the characteristic of that uh, Mahavakya, then how it is to be practiced and then the experience of realization. So this is what is uh, being told and it has been taken from four different Upanishads and uh, uh, here we have Tattva Masi, as it has been told, that the teaching is given. That is what is personal I. That is, I am not the body. Go inward. So, Neti Neti happens here. That is, I am not the body. I am not the mind. I am not the intellect. All this Neti happens and, and understanding of this happens, basically. So, what is this understanding? It is the understanding that I, small I and big I, the self that is the capital I has to be understood what that is, that is the Brahman. Then Pragnanam Brahma is universal I am, the God in me. That is, oh, I am the God. The God is there within me is, and everywhere it is God. Everything that is inert or non-inert, the living or non-living, anything is uh, the God. That is pragna. That has to come to us. The pragna has to come to us. The understanding of or the characters. Then I am Atma Brahma. That is being the Sakshi. The mind is active, the emotions are active, the thoughts will never leave us. How to have the check on that? Go to Sakshi, be Sakshi. Abide in the self as Sakshi. That is impersonal life. You are not attached to any of the uh, colloquial activities, but yet we are active. That is Ayamatma Brahma and this has to be practiced. That is Sadhana Vakya. 
ಅಭ್ಯಾಸ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಅವಳು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಐ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಈಗೋ ಐ ಗ್ರಾಜುಲಿ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಮಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನುಭವ ವಾಕ್ಯ when you are in the witness when you are to be the absolute how you can transcend even that sakshi and the unison with the jivatma and the paramatma is what happens in aham brahmasmi that is the realization the self realization happens with these four gradation of tatvamasi pragnanam brahma ayamatma brahma and aham brahmasmi that is i the ego i becoming the universal i that is dropping of the ego and seeing the god in everything and becoming the sakshi within and not getting attached and then transcending it being from sakshi to transcend uh, transcend from sakshi and going and unison happening uh, the unison happening with the brahman this is our true spiritual journey that has to happen and that has been happening with the help of our guru ji shri prabhu ji who has been guiding us in this direction and uh, it is uh, uh, we are blessed with this hari om everyone thank you yeah thank you kanti ji uh, you can stop sharing yeah yeah that was really a good talk uh, only thing is because of that uh, sharing uh, this thing you were a little bit distracted and time is little uh, overshot i guess maybe by 1 minute 1 or 1 and a half minute display of the others i was seeing only the screen yeah. share so i i couldn't see the time in my laptop also i didn't have the mobile i think you have to go <laughs> to that particular good. tab only and keep changing uh, in google meet that's what we have also <laughs> go there and click otherwise for us now the slides were not yeah. changing oh it was not changing is it no. i didn't again say it because again it will get interrupted you so have i just to go to that page only and uh, go click on that slide otherwise it doesn't you have to change your the screen and then change so mm. otherwise yeah that was really a good talk for you only it will be yeah. changing not for oh, it's not okay, visible okay. to everyone else no oh, that was not visible the change was not seen no. it will be seen only on your screen it won't be it seen new for, for us, us no we will learn, learn all this <laughs> no only if you go for, for most laptops what i have found is if you go into entire screen only then uh, slide oh. share will work yeah uh-huh. but slide share like that multiple appearances it mirror will appear uh, that, right? there as she said you have uh-huh. to choose that one share which you have to go the innermost one you have to click then you have to say share then you have to go click on your presentation then do slide share uh-huh. <laughs> okay. anyway yeah later so when you are uh, later 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 you try it okay okay carrot rice is there so kanti ji was good talk and uh, you are back into action again <laughs> but uh, yeah time is okay i guess because that distraction was there and uh, you can do self evaluation and then vani ji will give a uh, feedback uh it was only from maybe yesterday evening that i started to prepare after the avsc session uh though it was a very vast topic uh, to study everything and uh, what though i listen to guru ji's talk kannada and english today uh, it was not sinking so well uh, yet uh, the essence of the whole the holistic essence of all the uh, mahavakyas was uh, what i got from guru ji and that could be uh, given uh, maybe with uh, my uh, situation this was the best i could do okay yeah vani ji it was a very good best kanti so uh, i think today prabhu ji stock listening to prabhu ji stock uh, today morning also i think would have helped uh, because a lot of points i could see that are there from the talk so it is and i like the way you linked it to the mathas that is uh, it is known but not very, very uh, widely known that every matter has one 
Bakya. So that was uh, nicely done with a map and shown up and in the short time that you had. And all the points that you uh, shared with us was uh, very valid and very interesting. Yeah. So, Good, good effort. Guru Pakshi, actually, we three people are there with Maniji four and one observer. Anybody can ask if any question open. What was your particular Mahavakya given to you? Aham Brahmasmi. Uh, but Ella no Heli Dira. Good. Because that is the last one realization. The, you just cannot talk about realization. She has to go through Upadesha Vakya, Sadhana Vakya. So. <laughs> I cannot directly jump to the last step without these steps. If you take that approach, then that is correct. But yeah. by itself, what does Ahambar Brahmasmi mean? It's also possible. Mm. Alvaam. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. It was very good. Nanganton, I didn't listen. Can you uh, tell us any other uh, Mahavakya, Kantiji? Any other? Mahavakya, other than these. I am Atma Brahma, Kalvidam Brahma. Uh, Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma. Uh, other than these five, uh, are you aware of any other Mahavakya? No. Okay. No. There are many, that is what I heard. Yeah, but, uh, there are many, it's okay, you can look it up. Yeah, yeah. Just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Done. No questions for Kanti yeah. ji. Okay. So we'll move on to Shravanji uh, with his topic I am Atma Brahma. Timing, because it's uh, if you have a timer, you can keep. Uh, Watch. Okay. Telling you that. Okay. So, Hari everyone. So, as we have just heard of the four Mahavakyas, uh, I am Atma Brahma corresponds to the un, uh, Sadhana Vakya. Or a Pyasa Vakya. This uh, Vakyam comes from Adharvana Veda, Mandukya Upanishad, in which the Rishi introduces the Mandukya Upanishad, saying, Sarvametya Brahma, all this we see is Brahman. I am Atma Brahma, even I am Brahman. And this Atma is Brahman. And he says, Sat, that Atma, Jatushpat. So now in this three quick sentences, the entire Upanishad's direction is given. Everything is Brahman, is Sarva Metat. Whatever you see, whatever you see here, everything is Brahman. I am Atma, even I am there in this, and this I am, this I am is also Brahman. The sequence is mentioned because this I am is in this creation. Everything that I see, in that I also see myself, and that's also Brahman. Now, he goes to un understand what this Brahman is, and he says, this Brahman has four parts. And then he goes to analyze this. So from this very way of uh, introducing this, we know that this Upanishad and this Mahavakya is for Manana, for Abhyasa. What Abhyasa? Abhyasa for understanding that I am Brahman. This Atma is Brahman. I, Atma is Brahman. Now in this, this Atma, I am. The importance is on. If you have, when you say something is I am, what do you say? This, this means it is there in front of you. That which you can see, that which you can perceive, that is 
atma i am atma this the atma that i see now when i am looking at something i can say that i can see this but when i am looking at myself, what is this if, uh, if you see a mountain a mountain is a mountain now you can to aid that the rishi said there are four parts in you four parts are the virat or or, or the gross part the subtle part the mental part all of these are the three parts that you go deeper and deeper the gross part is what you appear what you think is this if you understand and analyze can you say this this is brahman no in with our normal experience we cannot say this body is brahman Uh, because brahman we know the characteristic super powerful uh, or uh, it's very big or it's very conscious but you cannot say that of the body or you can't say any of the things of the creech uh, the creation it seems to be infinite but it doesn't seem to be brahman immediately then you need to apply a logic the logic that supply is to go to the core part of it. this is common for all mahavakyas even for this mahavakya you go to the core of what is this so this upanishad now comes and says that this particular uh, one that you see which is the virat shariram how it is and by what you understand that this virat your body and the microcosms are similar and how they are brahman then you go into the subtle part then you look at the subtle aspect of you and the subtle aspect of the microcosm the macrocosm and then say this is also brahman you go further you go into the the causal aspect of you and the causal aspect of the uh, the subtle and then you find out that yes both are have some similarities and therefore that similarity is brahman so here what he is looking at is the common factor at each level is brahman the easiest part is when you go to the subtlest thing which is in in the gross subtle and mental gradually the jagrat swapna and sushupta in sushupta because the in the body does not have the disturbing factors which is nama rupa or the uh, other distractions this uh, distractions you will know that the all the three aspects sat chit and also ananda are met in deep sleep so you can find out that this atma which is the pratyagatma is brahman but it doesn't stop there it says what is common to this pratyagatma and the ishvara the the, uh, the microcosm counterpart what is common for these two that is brahman that which is playing the part of pratyagatma and playing the part of uh, ishvara that is brahman so that is the that in that 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 comes into picture but this vakyam is only for this sadhana where you go to this particular atma i am atma with this i am is more personalized and now you go to the impersonalized impersonalized is what is there in me as a person in my uh, body is also there in the microcosm so it is not just me it is impersonal once you go up to this impersonal then you find out this personal and impersonal are both similar and therefore this is brahman brahman is what all inclusive that is the first sentence that is been told a everything that you see is brahman by comparison you come to know now that everything 
that we see both in microcosm and macrocosm the commonality of that the essence of that is brahman and that method of reaching is what is emphasized in this uh, mahavakya called i am atma brahma this this means he is now traveling this 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 is a moving point from gross subtle to mental until then this analysis happens once this analysis is crossed then there is no this and that there is no duality there is only brahman that is anubhav vakya but this is this vakya is men, meant for arriving at that place by analyzing what you are right now what you are by analyzing what you are that is this atma this atma is brahman that is the meaning of i am atma brahman so hari om thank you time konma ji hey sorry thank you shravan ji that was a really good talk and uh, as always and podima ji is the purva pakshi i think she can ask a question and later you can go for self evaluation <laughs> can't think of any question <laughs> all very well explained ani ji has any very questions? clear <laughs> so no question self evaluation in short <laughs> oh in sh- this is a sh- uh, although a short preparation uh i have understood uh, mandukya upanishad and from mandukya upanishad i was trying to look at the context of this mahavakya and try to derive the importance of this with respect to other mahavakyas which is the sadhana aspect of uh, having said this this is the most difficult to accept because uh, other or all given to you or you have experienced this is the real part where there is a lot to go through this and that is why uh, you you see that the explanation is only understood when one has experienced that a- particular aspect of it so it was difficult to uh, go beyond uh, uh, and explain how this really re- relates uh, i was not satisfied with that aspect but anyway time wasn't also uh, much so this was what i thought uh, was good enough thank you yeah the time i think uh, one minute over shot yeah it was okay only yeah. and i think your uh, self evaluation was really really good <laughs> uh, thank you shrimati mani ji so after the self evaluation i have a question shrimati ji uh, while you are using ayamatma brahma as a sadhana vakya are you going through the neti neti process or are you just focusing on uh, i am or i am focusing on the i am this atma this is if you want to say something this you have to go there right the process here is oh, as i already explained it is going to the core there are three ways of analyzing something jahal lakshana by jahal lakshana by ajahal lakshana and by bhagatyaga lakshana now bhagatyaga lakshana means that you see all the common aspects of two so here it is not neti neti in the sense that i have gone to a particular uh, thing i have understood this is uh, not Uh, brahman that is an impersonal aspect of looking at it here it's a personal aspect of trying to understand i what am i now when i am looking at i 
having given the knowledge that i am brahman that this atman is brahman now i am trying to look at my atman so this is a inward progressive aspect the sadhana in this is inward progressive whereas in neti neti it is shaving of things and saying okay i know this this is not me i know this is not me this is not me that is leaving what is not me here what am i how am i this when when i am looking at if everything is brahman how am i everything that is the experience that is how am i consciousness how am i awareness how am i uh, existence because it's easy to say i am existence i exist therefore i am existence but if i really exist in what way i know i am existence i am always there is the way of understanding that i am existence i am consciousness in what way i am conscious i have to understand what is consciousness what is others consciousness what is the consciousness of the entire world consciousness of me and how they are same oh, then only brahman here the focus is on the the infinite attitude because the consciousness and the existence are everywhere there we know somehow in, uh, intuitively but that we are infinite or we are happy or we are ananda is derived carefully by looking at and, and establishing the this point in this present moment so this is more a present moment analysis rather than uh, uh, you know passive analysis of removing things impassive uh, personal this is a personal uh, uh, evaluation to go to the impersonal did i answer or it i confused <laughs> so basically it is iti 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 uh, looking at everything uh, objectively looking at is iti 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 or neti here it is subjectively looking at yeah i am this and that is also this and this is also this and this is also this and therefore it is also this and i am also this in what way that and i am are also say this so impersonal iti it's in, it is trying to come to the impersonality by looking at personal and uh, other than personal by you looking at duality and trying to find the commonality in the duality yeah okay can i ask a question here for my clarification please please uh, whatever i know i'm saying this is my thinking you be right wrong so i know when the neti neti is done finally something has to be there when everything is uh, uh, maybe it is neti 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 we just remove it off so something has to remain and that is the self uh, is that understanding uh, uh, correct because uh, i am not the body i am not the mind i am not the intellect all those uh, i am uh, removing those uh, 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 things correct. then, then the self what, is this what is cannot be said as na iti not this what cannot be said as not it this happens until there is a subject uh, there is an object that can be removed so the assumption there is the subject is i but here so neti neti is also that the, the end end result is same but here i am atma the whole uh, point began with i am brahman you are trying to uh, do the there you are trying to find out brahman here you are trying to prove to yourself know yourself that i am brahman there you are trying to say okay this is not brahman this is not brahman this is not brahman therefore this is brahman whereas hmm. here i am brahman for that to be there you have to be there as i am at that place if you are in subtle you have to understand the subtlety of you and the subtlety of the world and then only know what subtlety means suppose we are looking at a uh, flower what is the subtlety of a flower the gross part of the flower we know a, a petal uh, 
uh, uh, you know the uh, the pollen or whatever you can see the gross parts of the flower what is the subtlety of the flower it is the flowerness floweriness you know the the uh, the blooming nature of the flower right now a flower subtlety has to be felt in us also oh i am not the parts that i am but the the essence of this the human aspect of it or the feeling aspect of it that is brahman that is i am i am the feeling i am but not the parts so this is the going to the subtlety so finding out the subtlety there finding out the subtlety in me and then what is the causal aspect of this and what is the causal aspect of me that that is how this thing progresses thank you thank you shanti can i can i add one uh, line there you are asking what means after removing everything you can negate everything but the negator cannot be negated correct yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah, correct <laughs> So I am negating that. Uh, the negator cannot be negated. Negator is the is this. Yeah, hmm. negator is ultimate. So that is the hmm. there the thing stops. Hmm. The bug stops with the negator. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yes, Mani. Mani ji. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a very thought provoking. presentation as you can see by all the questions that are coming up mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, nicely covered and focus was kept on the uh, vakya that was given to you analyzed in different ways and uh, especially from the practical sadhana point of view what should a sadhak do how should a sadhak use it so it is not uh, merely philosophical it was also from the view point of uh, how to practically uh, what to do with that abhyasa vakya or sadhana vakya so, good good talk thank you and very very fluent and uh, from the beginning to end it was yeah, yeah. smooth flow thank you and uh, shravan ji also thank you and uh, very well explain even for the questions by vani ji and kanti ji very very detailed uh, explanations thank you that's all Hi, we, yeah. have. we have we uh, have the last speaker oh, <laughs> last speaker and her topic is ekam eva advitiyam podima ji you can uh, keep the timer yourself and uh, go with it Okay. I keep forgetting Punima is also a presenter in the group. Yeah. Ekam. <laughs> so uh, Mani was asking, is there any other Mahavakya? So mm -hmm. I chose this. Ekam Eva Advitiya. Yeah. yeah. It's also from Chandogya. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So Hari Om. The purpose of a Mahavakya is to show the Aikya of Jiva and Brahman. that's the main purpose of a mahavakya like the others have said some are anubhava vakya some are sadhana vakya some are upadesha vakyas this is a upadesha vakya it is giving a um, statement that there is only one there is nothing else this is advaita statement ekameva there is only one advitiyam there is no other so it is directly talking about brahman not even uh, talking about jiva it is assumed that jiva is brahman from this vakya so like shravan ji said we have to arrive how can there be only one because this is a world of varieties varieties of names forms a riot of colors and activities 84 lakh yonis each uh, unique in itself even among the species of human the fingerprints of all the 8 billion people don't match so how can it be only one there are so many there are many there un, in in uncountable infinite number of varieties in the universe so how can it be only one if that is the question 
uh, we would like to i would like to approach through uh, bhagavad gita 13th chapter shloka 1 kshetra kshetra gna vibhaga yoga in which lord krishna says idam shariram kaunteya kshetram ittabi diyate that means this sharira that i have is a kshetra is a field of action this particular statement and the next uh, the next statement says etad yo veti tam prahu hu kshetragnya iti tadvidah the one who knows the kshetra is the kshetragna so this statement all the sentient being on earth can feel it though we might not be able to articulate it the ant and the elephant and the blue whale and any human can declare i am it is kshetra gna only the one who knows can declare i am kshetra gna because i know the field so what is the field and what is the knower of the field the field is that which is apart from you which which can be objectified everything in the world can be objectified and coming back to the most personal my body mind intellect that can also be objectified because i can see my mind i can see the body i can see the intellect i can see all the ch- changes that are happening in the bmi every sentient, every sentient being on earth can object objectify the kshetra and separate from the kshetra from the kshetragnya that is there so all all sentient beings are kshetragnyas one commonality about all the beings the next shloka says what is the next shloka says he follows up with krishna says this is this is the this is tremendous you know this is phenomenal shetragnyam chapi mam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata are there 84 lakh uh, kshetragnyas no krishna is saying in all the kshetras i am the only kshetragnya shri krishna or brahman is the only kshetra da there is no different kshetragnya in you in me in, <clears throat> in all the other sentient beings the knower in satyavati is the same the knower in shravan in the same knower in vani and the same knower in kanti and same knower in me kshetragnyam api man vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharata there is only one knower there it is the unity ekameva advitti there is no other there is only one there are several kshetras only one kshetragnya and that is me why because i am the knower in every sentient being i am the knower therefore ekameva advitiyam they can never be any other and this while well, the kshetra is ever changing the kshetragnya is still is a sakshi is a witness forever there through all the changes happening everywhere in in the kshetra so that is the meaning that is one way of understanding ekameva advitiyam mahavakya from chandogya hari om thank you <laughs> so 6 and a half oh i thought uh, it was within 6 it look it seemed a little shorter only because you covered everything yeah thank you it was very present and as what is also asking and any other mahavakya so good that you came out with another mahavakya even though it is advaita there is only advaita no second nice question can be asked because it's a new mahavakya <laughs> ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರೇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೀ Mm. So correct that, could have include I should have included that yeah that is at the end so that way yeah. this is complete correct kshetra kshetra gnaryo gnanam etat gnanam mama matam etat gnanam matam mama yeah yeah he says kshetra and kshetra are not separate 
correct yeah, both the knowledge i am see i am the knower mm. what is known is also me it's it's also what is known is also me very beautiful shravan ji good point <laughs> very nice yes that to makes a complete very, uh, understanding also correct. no very nice yeah. start with saying very you good. are not the uh, kshetra you are only kshetra now but amele where about the kshetra which is left angling so, getting it again <laughs> ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ it was a refreshing change to listen to a new mahavakya <laughs> <laughs> yeah as old as i papa it's not new at all <laughs> no, new bottle yes in jj yeah. amrita and a new bottle yes correct different bottle i'll say different mahavakya let correct. me remove new and put this different so <laughs> good it was good uh, very well delivered and uh, you you kept all our interest going till the end thank you <laughs> chawanji made a valid point which you all anyway said excellent yeah needs to be included so very nice excellent thank you done then <laughs> so we are done with this and i think next session will fall on uh, some date th- third witness day ours will be third witness day and for the i mean i think mm. i'll end the session and then we can just have a glimpse of that in july okay. om asatoma satgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrutyorma mrutangamaya om shanti 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 hi ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತೋರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾನು ನಾನೆಂಬುದು ನಾನಲ್ಲ ಈ ದೇಹ ಮನಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಾನಲ್ಲ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಆತ್ಮ ಶಿವ ನಾನು ನಾನೇ ಶಿವೋಹಂ 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 ಆತ್ಮದರ್ಶನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮದರ್ಶನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮದರ್ಶನ ಸತ್ಯದರ್ಶನ ಸತ್ಯದರ್ಶನ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋಕಾ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುಚರಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು